there are any message you would like to share? Hmm. There are always many messages. Do you have a theme for me? Ooh. I have a theme. Mm. <laughs> I put you on a spot. <laughs> First word that comes to your mind? Okay, um, forgiveness. There is a lot to share about forgiveness. And it's important to understand that you are sinless, each and every one of you. Each and every one of you are perfect exactly as you are. If you believe that you are God, if you believe that God is in everything, you are perfect, exactly as you are, with all your so-called flaws. What is left to forgive of God? If God made all things, if God made you in His image, if God lives in you, if God lives in others, what is left to forgive? What can you be blaming yourself and others for? If this is just a dream, and we are all playing parts in this beautiful dream, because we love it. We would not be here if we did not love it. We have many other options. We are God, and we created it. And we are not going through with it just because we created it. We created it with love, with infinite love. God created earth with infinite love. God created us with infinite love. And we share this essence. Each and every one of us. So what is left to forgive? But our own judgment. What if we just took judgment out of the equation so there is nothing left to forgive judgment is what keeps the wheel of fear turning and turning and turning and each time that you release yourself from this wheel that you release yourself from this judgment it turns a little slower until it stops and one day it's gonna stop so you can help the wheel to run faster or slower you just need to take judgment out of the equation and let's not confuse judgment with discernment judgment is based in fear Because you see things as being separated. You see things as being less or more than each other. And that is judging. So look at you as being a perfect creation by God. Perfect and whole and holy in every way. And beautiful in every way. Both physically and emotionally and spiritually too. Stop judging yourself for every little so-called mistake you make. Stop judging yourself for judging yourself. This is a very important part too. Stop judging yourself for feeling emotions that you call negative. Stop judging yourself for not being enough. You are enough. Love is enough. And you are love. How could you not be enough? Stop judging your brothers and sisters. For everyone is doing the best they can with what they have. So what is left to forgive? If you see everyone as being one. And if you can be part of this one. This oneness is what we came from. But if you have something to forgive, if you have any part of you that needs forgiveness, 
know the forgiveness, know that the need for forgive, forgiveness is a need for love. Because it started with a judgment. It started with the judgment that you were not enough, or that you were less, or that someone was more. And you compared yourself. And you feared that you would not be enough. You feared for so long that you would not be enough to get into heaven, for example. And you are heaven. You are in heaven. In every single breath you take, you are in heaven. Allow this innocence to be part of your daily routine. The feeling of innocence, of being God's first creation. Because you are. And all of us are. See everything you do in your bodies and outside your bodies as being innocent. Because that, that is how you achieve grace. And there is no more forgiveness in grace. Because you know that you are one. You know that there is nothing else to seek. You are there. And you can see that you've always been there. No matter what you do. No matter what path you choose to take. In all the timelines. In all space continuum. You are perfect. Exactly as you are. In every single second. There is nothing left you need to achieve. To be God. Enlightenment is not something that is far off. It is within you. It is part of your nature. It is your birthright. So if you still have something to forgive inside of you, look at it with love. Look at it like you would look to a child. Like you would look to a dog. Sometimes it's easier to love a dog than a child. So look at it like that, like a little puppy. Just wanting to be loved and to be cared. And it's okay. Would you ever tell a dog that it doesn't deserve love? Or a child? It deserves everything. Embrace it. Embrace your humanity. Enjoy it. Because you will not be on earth right now. And that is very important to know. And to grasp it within your consciousness. You will not be on earth right now if you were not already masters. That is not a time for the faint of heart. You are not here to play small. You are divine beings of profound light and complex light. And that is why you chose this experience. That is why you chose to be here right now. Because you can. Because you are powerful enough. Because you are enough, period. You don't have anything else to forgive within you. You don't have anything else to forgive. Because you are perfect. And if you look at it like that, it gets a little easier. This is the shortcut that we've been talking about, that we've been trying to teach you for so long. This is the shortcut. Is understanding that you are one with your brothers and sisters. And that every single one is doing the best they can with what they have. And it's very important to love people in their worst as well. And to allow them to be themselves for you to love them. And to hold space for what you cannot love. Because it's okay. Sometimes it's very hard. And hold space for you and not judge yourself for not being able to love something or someone. You live in a duality based environment you chose this contrast every single day you spend here 
you grow in a scale exponentially, infinitely. Because this is the most beautiful, beautiful place to be right now in the universe. So if you chose this experience, and if you are this master, and if you knew what you were going to go through when you came here, what is left for you to forgive? Of you, of, all, or of others. Everyone is playing a role in the dream. Everyone deserves love, including you. First and foremost, you. That is how you do it. That is how it gets easier. You love you first. You put yourself first. It's like on the airplane. When they give you the mask, you put the mask on your mouth first. Not the child next to you. Right? Because if you can't be alive, you can't help anyone else. And that is how you should perceive it. If you can love you, you can't love anyone else. Because it comes from you first. And everything you're going to see in your external reality is going to be a reflection of you. So if you want forgiveness from others, you forgive you. If you want to forgive others, you forgive you for needing to forgive them. Everything you see in your world is just another beautiful expression of you because you are God. Every brother and sister Every tree, every animal, every car, every cell, every molecule, everything is God. Everything has a consciousness. Everything is alive, working with you. And Mother Earth is so beautiful. And you love being here. All of you love being here. Or you would not be here. There are so many other places to be. You chose Earth in this beautiful moment of ascension. So you forgive by loving. You choose love every single day again and again. You choose love when it doesn't seem to be a choice. And that is how you realize that there's nothing left to forgive. Everything is perfect. Everyone is perfect. And by being in this state of love, being in this state of beautiful surrender and forgiveness, other people are going to see it and be inspired by it. You will reflect that to them. And they will learn to forgive themselves. And they will learn to allow themselves to be God. Maybe not in the same way that you are experiencing it. Because you chose a rather different way from the society. But others are still experiencing it. They are not apart from ascension. If you are going through it, everyone is. How you choose to treat yourself is how you treat others and is how others treat you and also is how they t treat each other so sometimes we have so many mm, ugly things happening and we have a hard time forgiving others for the harm they are doing to each other the harm they are doing to Mother Earth but if you look at you with love, you reflect that to them one way or another. You might never see it, but it's happening. Because that little wheel is slowly, slowly stopping. Because we are not motivated by fear anymore. Where there is love, 
there cannot be fear. Even if you embrace fear as being a friend, as being a tool, once you do it, you are perceiving it with love, cease to exist. So everything else falls into place. So, if I could advise you in anything, is accepting your divinity by being yourself. No matter what. That's the first step to self-love. Is being comfortable with who you are. And not being afraid to express who you are with anyone. They might not know it, but they are loving you. In the way they know how to love. So just be yourself. Be the God that you are. So others can understand that they are God too. This is the light worker's mission. The first mission is be you. So you can attract others. So you can help others. So you can awake others. Other light workers too. Like you've been awakened. So just be you, because you are perfect and beautiful in every single way. And you don't have anything else to forgive within you. You are one with all there is. And God within you knows exactly what to do. Trust it. been a beautiful communication dear one thank you, thank you.